welcome back to my channel friends this is Nirav Guhil here and in this video I will give you information about how to give the best answer of cue card so without wasting time let's start but before we start friends if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet please press the subscribe button press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update so friends in this video I will give you information about how you can give the best answer in 2 minutes of time if you want to know more about preparation time, I have already created one video. If you haven't seen, link is in the description. I will cover these three sub-topics. First is how to start. How to start your answer. Second is how to maintain flow. You can say how to maintain rhythm. And third is how to complete or finish. So I will cover these three topics in this video. So without wasting time, let's start the first one which is how to start. Mostly students are trying to use high level of vocabulary at the beginning of cue card. But from my point of view, you shouldn't. Just give smooth start to your cue card topic. You will be given 2 minutes of time to speak and it is more than enough to add proverb, high level of vocabulary, compound complex sentences. But at the beginning, do not try to use high level of vocabulary, just give smooth start. But now the question is what to mention at the beginning, how to start. So let's take an example to understand it better. So describe your favorite food, what it is, why it is and when you have tasted it last time. So here is the topic. So you can start like I like so many dishes but when it comes to favorite, this dish is my favorite. So this way you can start your cue card and then your focus should be on three sub questions so it will be like piece of cake for you to start so you can use this method so now we are moving to the second topic which is how to maintain flow or you can say rhythm so now it's time for how to maintain rhythm this thing is very important let's say you have started your cue card but now we have to speak for two minutes so this thing is very important and if you want to maintain your rhythm you need to focus on these three things First is give proper time to each sub question. Second, do not lose your confidence. And the last one is don't be too fast or don't be too slow. So if you want to maintain your rhythm, you need to focus on these three things. So let's start with the first one, which is give proper time to each sub question. So to give proper time to each sub question. This is very important if you want to maintain your rhythm. But what it means? Let me give you one simple example. Let's say you have answered two sub questions in just 30 seconds. Now, only one sub question and one and a half minutes of time. What you will add? For sure, you will lose your track, right? So, please give proper time to each sub question. In most of the case, you will not be able to give brief answer of first sub question, but you have to give brief answers of second and third sub question. Then only you will be able to speak for two minutes. So while you are preparing, in one minute of time, collect adequate amount of content to speak. So now let's move to the second one, which is do not lose confidence. So second thing is do not lose confidence. Even if you realize you made mistake, do not lose your confidence. Speak with the confidence because it could affect your fluency. If you lose your confidence, for sure you will lose your fluency. So even if you make mistake, do not lose your confidence. Speak with the confidence only. So now let's move to the third thing. So now, don't be too fast, don't be too slow. This thing is also very important because if your speaking speed is very high, you will cover three sub questions before two minutes and if your speaking speed is slow, you will take three minutes of time. So in both of these cases, you will lose your marks. So what I would like to advise you is maintain your pace, don't be too fast, don't be too slow, maintain your pace, try to speak for two minutes. So now let's move to the last thing. 
So the last thing is how to complete or you can say how to finish. So here I would like to tell you friends, do not take any action by yourself. Wait for the instruction. Your examiner can stop you before two minutes and after two minutes. But do not take any action by yourself. Even if you feel you have crossed two minutes. So friends, if you want to give the best answer, you need to consider these three things. How to start, how to maintain flow and how to complete. And I am very much confident if you are focusing on these three things, you will give a very great answer of Q card. So this is all for this session. So I hope you liked this video and enjoyed it. If you like, do not hesitate. Straight away, hit the like button and share with your friends. If you are a new user and watching my video first time, hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to get notifications. If you have any doubt related to this video or any other videos, feel free to ask me, mention your doubts in comments. I would love to answer your queries. So soon I will come back with new study material and tips for you. Till then, keep practicing. Bye-bye.